Hey, but it's I'm back once again. Yes, I've done some benchmarks at MWC, but it's now time to put it through Geekbench 3 on my retail edge unit. So, let's check it out. So yes, the nothing else in the background, all we've got is Geekbench 3. Now, I've not actually run it yet. It's the first time I'm going to be running it on my device. And just to show you that it is running this, it's the Samsung uh, SM-G25F, running Android 5.0.2, using the ARM Samsung at 1.5 GHz processor. And it's meant to be 3 GB, but it's showing 2.63. Yay, because that's just what happens. So let's run the benchmark. We're going to let it do its thing, and once it's done, we will come back to it. Don't worry, I'll fast forward through this part. So, wham bam, thank you, ma'am. There we go, there is the final scores. We have a single core of 1,341, which is pretty impressive. And the multi-core is 4,265. I'll be honest with you, I can't really remember the previous scores. It's quite a while since I've done this one. But just if you want to see the scores on the doors, the full details here is some more information for you, just telling you what processor it is, interactive governor, memory, just telling you the integers, the uh, ES single cores, the multi cores, the two fish, the shawan, the chateau, the bzip2 compress, bzip2 decompress, the jpeg compress, decompress, PNG, PNG, uh, Sobel, uh, Lua, and then DIJ, KSTRAA. Yay! Then we've got the floating point. Again, it's just got your main top, top scores. Then it's got your uh, black skulls. Hey, Paul skulls, but not. Um, Mandel Prot, the Sharpen Filter, Blur Filter. Again, if you are interested in these ones, then you'll know what you're looking for. Personally, as you know, scores don't really mean much nowadays. It's pretty much the, all the, the performance on the phone, as we know. Um, if it gets a rubbish score here, but it performs cool, who cares? If it performs really good here and it performs crap, then you've got some problems. So again, just going down there, we are right at the bottom. But finally, back up to the top, total score, 1341. Again, 4265. What do you reckon? Good? Bad? To be honest with you, the scores don't really mean anything to me anymore. Um, I just do this because people want to see it. Why? Because they do. But anyway, that is it. That is the quick Geekbench 3 score on the Galaxy S6 Edge. If you've got any questions about the S6 Edge that you know what to do by now, you can hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Sam J. Pullen. If you do enjoy the videos, then please hit the like button. Go on. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Hit the like button. <laughs> and subscribe. Go on. It's free. You know you want to. Go on. Anyway, thanks for watching. And you'll hopefully see me in my next video. Cheers, everyone.